Welcome to Shape by Faith with your host, Teresa Rowe. To find out more about Shape by Faith and Teresa Rowe, please visit shapebyfaith.com or visit the YouTube channel, Facebook, or Instagram. And now, here is Teresa Rowe. Welcome to Shape by Faith, where we shape our bodies and hearts for God's purposes and happy, healthy New Year. Oh my goodness, this is going to be an amazing show. Um, Amanda Wolf is my guest, and she is a weight loss warrior for Christ. She's actually a warrior for Christ, but she has an amazing story to share with all of us today. And Amanda, thank you so much for saying yes to this interview. Yes. Thank you so much, Teresa, for having me. It's such an honor and a blessing, really. I don't even know what to say. Thank you. (laughs) Absolutely. Well, let's hear a little bit about your background so we know where you're coming from and and what your life was like up to this point. Um, Where did you grow up and what was it like being the oldest of seven siblings? So I grew up uh, till I was about 10 years old. I grew up in Colorado, but the majority of my life, I grew up in Washington. And I honestly, being the oldest of seven siblings, what an honor because I got to see all my younger siblings born. I mean, sure, at the time I may have had, you know, you know, like being frustrated as a kid. But overall, it was the highlight of my life besides being a mom, really. (laughs) Wow. Okay. so all right seven children you're the oldest can you um brothers sisters can you kind of give us a breakdown of your siblings sure so i have let's see um so one of my siblings passed in utero but it goes myself my sister um and then my other sister and then we have four half sisters under us but we are, we're all sisters, but that's the literal breakdown of it. But we're sisters. Wow. Okay. So we have seven children. So it's like, I have to oh, think. Well, yeah. I know, I know. And we have 14 grandchildren. So I have to think about, okay, who came first? And then, you yeah, know, totally. so we, I, I'm, I can relate, although I wasn't the oldest of seven, um, I was adopted, but I know what it's like to have seven children. So, um, Were you raised in a Christ-centered home? Yes, I'm very involved in the church. My parents divorced, but on both sides, we were Christ-centered. There was always a church, and then there was always the church camps. Um, Just, yes, very much a part of our lives and very involved in the church growing up. It was very nice. Mm -hmm. So since you can remember, you've always loved the Lord, like when you were a little girl? I honestly can pinpoint the time in my life. when I was baptized, I can pinpoint when my true love of the Lord happened. Like there was a shift, a real shift. When was that, Amanda? Uh, September 3rd, uh, 1995, 10 years old. Wow. Was there any mm-hmm. like significance going on? Were you in church or what was happening? Mm-hmm. That was actually after the first week of Bible camp. It wasn't where you spend the night. It was um, just during the summer and we would go and then I had memorized the verse. I want a Hershey bar and a Bible. And <laughs> <laughs> I was all, I always loved God, but that was really the turning point. And I wanted to get baptized and it, yeah, it wow. was awesome. That is amazing. Okay. So let's talk about your position in your family again. How did being the oldest of seven um, prepare you for life? It really equipped me with, see, God really shapes us as we're young for, for what's to come in our lives. And it's so cool to look back and I can see how God shaped me to have patience without yeah. God. I would have no wisdom really. And so he helped give me the tools to understand also from a child's perspective. So mm-hmm. it's easy to understand where a kid's coming from. And that helps with communication with a kid with a child for me. Yes. And I, and I absolutely agree with you. God does shape us when we're younger. And even if a person isn't raised in a Christ centered home, God is still shaping that child, you know, to walk into their destiny one day. It's just, it's incredible. Mm -hmm. I didn't accept the Lord into my life until I was 26 years old. And so um, when I share my story, I can look back and I can see 
where God had his hand upon me the whole time, Al. He was just shaping me um, for his purposes. And God yes. does that. And God does that even as adults, the adults that have yet to say yes to the Lord. He yes. is still knocking on their heart, you know, and he's wanting to mm -hmm. come in and dine with them. And so I'm just, we serve such a good, good father, don't we? We do. And I love your story. I, I read your book and I love your story. I think it's beautiful. And it's so great to see, like you said, how to look back and see how he shaped us. And he's been there all along, even when we don't know it. He's like guiding us. Just like you said, it's really cool. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much, Amanda. OK, let's let's talk about and I don't like to talk about weight, but we're going to talk about <laughs> weight today and body hey. image. So, um, OK, so obviously you're going to talk about weight loss today, but we want to kind of lead up to that point. Did you struggle with your weight and body image when you were younger, like a child? Yeah, I've always it's always been a prevalent issue in my life. Mm -hmm. OK, <laughs> so what what do you think contributed to that, like as far as struggling with your weight? If you look back. Oh, sure. Um, I think a lot of it for me personally, um, I didn't really look up to the right role models, you know, and or for the right reasons. I just wanted, you know, uh, I was focused on the wrong things growing up sometimes wanting to look pretty, caring about the physique and stuff. And um, my um, my mom didn't mean to. Um, but because of how she was raised, there was focal point on our weight excessively, but it wasn't um, she wasn't putting it down. It just, there was, you know, a lot of focus on it. So mm -hmm. there was a lot of obsessiveness about, um, like why my body didn't look like other things I saw in movies, you know, typical things that are much more addressed nowadays, you know, um, that, yeah, that contributed to it for sure. Absolutely. Okay. So as far as what you ate when you were younger, your diet, did you, uh, think about that at all, or did you just eat whatever you wanted or, how, you know, how did that work? I really comfort ate a lot. And when I lived with my mom, um, cause we were raised by our grandparents for a little bit. So there was a little bit of sweets and stuff, but when I went to live with my mom, she really, you know, buckled down on healthy. So she wouldn't buy stuff, but then I would sneak into the stuff when she bought it and, you know, I would eat it up, you know, yeah. And um, I'd sneak the Halloween candy, stuff like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yeah. about your, your confidence, um, how did it hinder your confidence in the way that you viewed yourself? Um, I just never wanted to be seen. If I would go, um, even in my own home, or if I'd go somewhere, I wanted a, a baggy sweater on or like, you know, a couch pillow to cover my stomach always, no matter what size I was. Mm -hmm. um stuff like that um a blanket always just wanting to cover up my body not wanting to be seen <laughs> right okay let's talk about um your spiritual walk with the lord you're still young at this point in time um you love the lord you've committed your life to him and i'm sure you don't you know you didn't have the wisdom then that you do now as far as spiritual wisdom but did you think yeah. about as a child like praying and asking the lord to help you with this um, you know, I, I did, but mm -hmm. I also, um, when I was younger, even though I may not have liked my body, I, I was more in shape. So like at school, we would do gym and aerobics and I would work out one of my mom's videotapes at home, but, um, I didn't know, I guess, no, I did not have that spiritual wisdom then. That's a really good question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because I think, you know, when we all look back, uh, we can see where we've matured up, hopefully, from the time we were a baby Christian until now. And and I really believe that is key um, as we mature up in the ways of the Lord, that he helps us. It, if it's not weight loss, it might, may be something else. It may be, you know, too, doing too much of this over here or maybe getting rid of things in our life that doesn't serve the Lord, you know, or honor oh, yeah. him. I, I think the word highlights that for us, but we mm. have to be in the word in order to know those things. You know, I, I just, oh, yeah. I, I believe the Holy spirit enlightens the eyes of our hearts as we read his word. So most children yeah. don't know because they're just not that 
spiritually mature at that point in time in their life. So, um, all right, we're going to take a real quick break and we'll be right back with more Shape by Faith. Everyone stay tuned. Welcome back to Shape by Faith and happy, healthy new year. And Amanda is my guest. She's amazing. And you're so easy to talk to, Amanda. And um, oh, just kind of, yeah, we're just kind of getting your backstory about where you were and where you are now. Um, we're talking mm -hmm. about weight and body image. And I, I believe all women think about this, you know, yeah. probably more than we should um, mm -hmm. because of what's out there, what's, you know, on social media and all that. Everything looks so perfect. And we're like, really? So, <laughs> um <laughs> But we've got to know who we are in Christ, you know, um, first. We've got to know that first and, and ask God for help in areas that we need help with. So what mm -hmm. prompted you to decide to make a lifestyle change and lose weight? Well, um, so I, I got up to a really, a really unhealthy weight because I had done this very restrictive diet and I had done it for the wrong reasons and I'd done it for too long. But um after that, there were two separate incidents that happened three times that really scared me. And I have uh, four kids and they need me. So I need to really get my health in check. But I got really sick. And then um, I, I stopped breathing. I couldn't breathe three oh. times in the night. Yeah, it was horrible. I woke up and I couldn't breathe in and I couldn't breathe out. And so that was too scary. I'm like, this has got to stop. This is ridiculous. You know, get it. To, I, I needed to to come to terms. <laughs> Right. Okay. So, um, did you go to the doctor or anything about that? Or did you just, like you said, you just decided it, it, it was time to do something. It was more of deciding to, to do something. I did keep my doctor involved with, um, the amount of weight I was losing and such, but it was more just, I knew that I needed to take action and something I needed, I needed to motivate myself to just do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. So Amanda, you're probably, were you at your highest weight now before you? Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It was, it was 260 pounds. I had got up. I had never, ever been that heavy, not, not putting anyone down, but for me, for my body, it, it was too much. I couldn't do it. Right. Okay. So how much weight did you feel that would be healthy for you to lose? Did you set uh, a goal or anything like that? Yeah, ideally, I would like to get down to 150. Mm -hmm. But I knew for sure I needed to get down to like 180 as, as soon as I could, as healthy as I could. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you and I've communicated back and forth, you say that um, you tried a lot of workouts, but you could never get past the first eight minutes. Can you explain that? Sure. Um, my my legs are where um, a lot of my weight goes and I would try to do these workouts, but I was in such poor shape. My legs would start to hurt so much and I have had asthma my whole life. And so just, I couldn't do it. I couldn't keep up at all with it. And, and I would have the willpower, but my body couldn't do it. And, and so it just, I wouldn't stick with it at all. Oh, wow. Okay. So <laughs> You discovered that there is a faith-based fitness program available to you online called Shape by Faith. So yeah. when did you discover this? It was it was so cool. So um, I love to find free stuff and free Christian resources. I love to research the Bible. So there's uh, lots of um, different accounts I follow on YouTube that have free movies. And so I'd watched a few. So I kept scrolling uh further back and they had a whole season of shape by faith. And I, I could not believe it. I was so excited. I finally found it because I knew that I could do it. And then I looked and I, I saw the website and I just got all the DVDs right away in the book and everything. I was so ecstatic. I was so happy. <laughs> so you, you started working out right with the um, workout. Oh, yeah. yeah. The very, and I'm not joking. The first one I ever put on, I did the entire thing and then you go, okay, well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this workout. I go, what? I thought it was five or eight minutes. No. And I wasn't even winded, nothing. And I was like, I did it, Teresa. I, I did too. I was like, I did it. <laughs> that is awesome. Um, how, 
many times per week did you incorporate the workouts? I was really gentle with myself because I didn't want to pull muscle. I didn't know much about Pilates, but um, I started off three times. Then that was easy. So four times. And then I just do six days and I take Sundays off. Awesome. <clears throat> okay. So is, is, did you notice the weight was coming off um, after doing so many weeks or how did that work? Yeah, well, um, being in my own body, I saw a change in the first three times or the first three sessions I did. And then um, other people started to notice um, around two weeks, uh, my clothes would fit differently for sure. And then four and six weeks, everyone was definitely at the wow, you know, wow, Amanda stage. What are you doing, Amanda? <laughs> that is awesome. Amanda, at the time and now, are did you change the way that you were eating? Yeah, um, I I was definitely eating way too much. So um, portion control. I educated myself about nutrition and stuff, mm -hmm. and and then um, the calories and just eating healthy. Oh, and eating whole food. I really go for whole food. Okay, can you explain that to our listeners? What what you're talking oh, about? Sure. Uh -huh. sure. So um, basically, if it comes from the ground or you know from an um, an animal beef, I just that's what I eat. And I, um, I stay away from fast food, sweets, anything that's not grown. Um, I stay away from because I don't know what's in it really. Right. So everything that God created you eat. Yes. That is awesome. I know like he didn't create Oreos, but he did create the person that, that came up with right. the idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think our food has changed a lot since the time I was growing up. Um, you know, there there wasn't as, as much fast food out there or easy pickup food. So um, our parents, you know, they actually, they prepared whole foods for us, um, mm -hmm. which I didn't always like. But anyway, that's on another topic. <laughs> My mother used to prepare liver and onions, and I'm like, oh, my, oh my gosh. My grandma loves that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so you were doing great. And How many weeks were you into this when um, and you'd lost, like, 70 pounds? How long did that take for you, Amanda? So um, I stuck with it. So, okay, um, April, May, June. So, uh about three months, I think three and a half months. Wow. Yeah. I think about three and a half to maybe five months, I think. Cause I remember telling my doctor and she's like, Amanda, that's too fast. I go, I'm just working out. <laughs> wow. That's incredible. That is. That's incredible. It was. Yeah. I really, well, cause I needed to get it off Teresa. And a lot of it was uh, inflammation. It was horrible. After that restrictive diet, it just, it, I got, my body bloomed up. It was crazy. Were you okay? Were you drinking before your calories, like shakes and like, you know what I'm saying? Like colas and things like that. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. And, and the fries really is sodium. Sodium is what causes that major dangerous inflammation where your skin's okay. tight and your ankles, you can't see your ankles. Yeah. <laughs> so how did you just stop eating everything that you were eating? I mean, were you like, Lord, help me with this? Yeah. And I, I educated myself about um, health and nutrition. And I definitely, I, I seek his guidance. And um, I know it sounds cliche, but when, when I would put on one of your workouts, I wouldn't feel alone. And I was talking to my friend and it's when I would do those, it would help me to overcome, you know? Oh, that's, and that's the Lord that, you know, for, exactly. For exactly. Listeners, yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. For listeners who aren't familiar with my shape by faith workout. So every exercise is accompanied with a scripture verse. And I believe that's the key, Amanda. I mean, the workout is good, but I, I do believe it's the word of the Lord you know. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's it. You give all glory to him and he's there present in the workout. And it's very evident. It is so evident. And so you're feeling his presence. That's amazing. Yes. Um, gosh, we're going to have to take another quick break. We can talk all day. Okay. So we will be <laughs> right back with more shape by faith. Everyone stay tuned.
Welcome back to Shape by Faith. Amanda, you have an amazing story. And I just love speaking with you and, and hearing you share what the Lord has done in your life. And okay, so three to five months of weight loss, that's pretty good, 70 pounds. Um, but you received some devastating news at that time about your mother. And do you care to share? Um, yes. So um my mom made the choice to have control over when her life ended. And so she did make the choice to, she ended her life on um, May, May 5th. Mm. And what, mm. and, and Amanda, I, can, I can't imagine that. I, I just yeah. I can't imagine what you went through. Um, ex, ex, you know, if you want to explain and encourage those who are going through some really hard and that's devastating time, but to continue, you know, walking with the Lord and taking care of your body. Yeah. Um, well, after the, the aftermath of that and the effects that my family and myself have seen uh, from that decision and the impact it's had really kind of, for me, it woke me up. I needed to really get my mental health in check my physical health in check and be there for those um, around me. So really it's basically the feeling you're left with is there's no way you can do that to someone uh, after experiencing that. And so it's just a time I have definitely leaned into God a hundred percent. He has carried me through this. He's mm -hmm. it's, it has, it's only God. That's the only way. <laughs> yes. Did you continue working out? So I took, it was such a hard blow the way of the loss of my mom. Cause we both lost our mothers and it's so sad in and of itself. Mm -hmm. And so it was such a hard blow that it knocked the wind out of me. But after a couple weeks I did, because it's so comforting and it's so comforting. I find myself seeking women like on YouTube or, you know, good role models and you're such a good role model. It's so comforting. So I came back to that workout because I knew I'd hear you say verses. I knew I'd feel God there. And I knew feeling the strength I'd feel in my body, it's overcoming. My body's overcoming what I did to it. And my spirit is overcoming, you know, where mm -hmm. two or more are gathered in my name. I am there. Well, God is there when I put in that DVD, when I stream you on my TV. <laughs> so <laughs> it was the right decision, you know. Yes. Well, how, how do you feel being stronger and healthier? Because obviously you are. How do you feel it affects your walk with the Lord? There's just that joy. The fruit of the spirit is much more abundant. I couldn't believe the outlook I had started having on life and stuff. And um, when you really just everything I do every day, has to have God at the center of it. And I finally, you know, I have God at the center of my health and my exercise and everything just flows easy there. And like my joy is very abundant. And who can really say that after, you know, you've had a suicide or sorry, the death of a loved one in the family mm -hmm. and, you know, and still have this joy. It's not, I'm happy. It's a joy, you know, and that's only from God. Absolutely. So, the joy of the Lord is our strength, you know? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Joy is yeah. so different than what we could imagine it to be. It's just, I mean, yes. I think it's just like a knowing that God, like you said, that you, you knew God was with you and mm. that brings that heart of, you know, peace and joy. Now you have children. And so children require mm. a lot of energy. I've raised children <laughs> and I know. So um, how's being in better shape affected your relationship with your children? Oh, they're so much more happy. I can keep up with them. I interact with them more and I'm a much better mom. I'm the mom that they deserve and that they need, you know? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. And, and gosh, I mean, running after children is a full-time job. <laughs> it takes a lot. And as a Nana, it takes a lot too. Um, oh. <laughs> yeah. Amanda, how would you encourage a person who's listening and they're out there and they're like, I, you know, I, I don't want to try exercise or I cannot get past the first eight minutes. Like, like you originally said, how would you encourage them to try out shape by faith? Um, honestly, I would say you, 
this is one of those things where I would ask you to try it one time. And if you didn't like it after that, I wouldn't bother you again. But it's one of those things that if you do try it, you're going to love it because God is there the entire time. Just Teresa, you're so inviting. There's like, you can feel comfortable in your own skin because you're there to help us shape our bodies and our minds for God's purposes. So it's effective. And you just, you got to keep trying. You can't ever give up. You can't, you have to put in the effort. Because if you put in 100% effort, I promise you, you're going to get 100% results. So I would definitely, I recommend it. (laughs) Thank you so much, Amanda. Okay, we're in a new year. Um, Do you have any plans or anything going on this new year? Anything the Lord's given you? Well, Definitely just keep going forward with this, um, getting the weight off. And I guess just being a mom, my daughter's set to graduate in three years. So I guess that's one, (laughs) one out of four. (laughs) Yes. Well, that's a big mission field, raising children. It's a huge mission field, just, you know, raising those kids up in the ways of the Lord. So that's incredible. Um, Amanda, we're going to have to close out here in, in just a few seconds here, but how would you encourage someone listening? Just don't give up, you know, don't give up hope. Don't give up hope. You are never alone. There are three persons of the Trinity. And if you've accepted Jesus Christ, you are never alone. The Holy Spirit is right there with you. Don't forget that he is a person. So he is with you. (laughs) Don't give up. And yes, (laughs) that is awesome. Amanda, I'm going to have to, you, have you come back on this year, okay? And check yes. it oh, okay. again. I would love to no. check back in. And you are an awesome guest. And oh, God yeah. bless you. And I thank you. I thank you for coming on. Oh, you are wonderful. God bless you, Teresa. And just thank you for being you. You are such a blessing. I'm so just happy that you're here. <laughs> thank you. And everyone, happy, healthy New Year. Bye. I'm happy Teresa New Crow. Year. Have a blessed day. <laughs> Thank you for listening to Shape by Faith with Teresa Rowe. Remember to visit ShapeByFaith.com to find out more about workouts, the TV show, podcasts, blogs, Shape by Faith products, and much more.